minutes. Let's go. So I want to start by talking to you about some of the findings that we had from the 2019 ANZ PropTech survey that we did. There was an overwhelming response from our agencies that they understand that customer expectations are changing. That's your landlords and your tenants. So the market has changed. As Dom said, the Uber, Uber, Apple, Googles of the world, they're training your customers in what to expect when it comes to dealing with service providers. And that change is driving challenges to the traditional property management business model. These challenges shouldn't be a surprise to anybody in the room. We understand them. We all understand that technology can help us solve those problems. But maybe what we're not considering is your choice of software will actually dictate the rate and ease of change in your business. So that change is going to bring a lot of benefits to you, but specifically the benefit that I'm going to talk to you about today is your top line, how your choice of software in your business can help you actually drive revenue. You can't run out and just charge more commission. The market dictates how much you can charge. So we need to think differently about how to create revenues in your business. We need to create services that we can charge fees for. We need to find more revenue streams than we have today, and we need to focus on ensuring that our commission stays at the top of the barrel and we're not competing in a race to the bottom. We're finding a move towards fee-for-service, and in our technology at Console, we're addressing that with ad hoc fees that allow you to program in fees for things like document prep or court appearance, and we build that into the workflow to make sure that you're not missing those fees. That's how we maximise that income stream for you. Only 21% of our respondents said they're seeing adjacent revenues today. There are service providers like utility companies, insurance companies, compliance, who are willing to pay you to allow them to provide a service to your customer. How do we capture that as revenues? We're addressing that through our marketplace. We also know from Uber's surge pricing or premium car brands, people are prepared to pay for quality and experience. It's that quality and experience that allows us to hold our commissions high in a competitive market. Part of that quality is your communications channel. Seven out of 10 said they're looking to engage technology to solve the communications problem in market. And that's not making more calls to our landlords and tenants, that's about putting the right information in front of them through things like our landlord portal or our tenant app so that you can get decisions. All of these things though take an investment in time. You need to invest the time now so that you can get the returns later. And our focus is on helping you do that and that's what we mean when we say do less, make more. So back to my first point about more fees, more services, it takes time to create those services. It takes time to execute more of those services so that you can create more revenue. So our platform's looking at how we can do that. The property relationship, the relationship with your tenants and your landlords is about the quality of the service you provide. How do you create an exceptional experience that builds brand loyalty and trust? That brand loyalty and trust that you can create will actually, again, maintain high commissions and reduce the management loss and turnover in your business. Both of those things, great for your top line. We know from our survey that most of you are ready to embrace technology and go on this journey. In businesses with a vision and a strategy, that number soars up to 96% of respondents. So your vision and strategy is important. Why? As Dom said, we've got all these disparate systems that are causing our property managers to look messy and miss fees because we're missing the parts in between it. So you need to establish your strategy. You need to question where you're going and what you expect to get from your software. Look at both the efficiency that it creates but how you use that efficiency to drive revenue into your business. So this has been a lot to take in. Quick recap. You're all seeing downward pressure on commissions and that's hurting revenue. Customers' expectations continue to change and they're fueled by influences outside of this industry. But luckily, most of you are ready to embrace technology and go on this journey. How do we do it? One, we need to find new revenues. We need to charge more fees for services that we can. We need to maintain a high level of commission through a high quality of service, and we need to unlock those ancillary adjacent revenues. Four out of five of you are missing that. That's a lot of opportunity that's left on the table. Your staff are ready to come on this journey with you, so you don't need to fear the change. But what you do need to find is those people in your business who are ready to come on this journey and bring them on your vision. Get them to drive the change through your business, 
so that you can actually realise the revenues that will help your business grow into the future. So that's all from me. It was a bit of a lecture. I hope you took something in from that. And my question to you after today is what will you do next? <laughs>